Hello everybody, Drew's Farming Life back again today. Hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe, put that notification button on and uh, just follow along, see what you think. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, don't forget, merch link is in the bio. If you want to have a wee look at that, that would be grand. So, hi back again today <laughs> so I'm back again with some more plowing that's all I'm doing apologies it's just the farm <laughs> at the moment but uh, last night was minus six which is a bit ridiculous um, since it's now April <laughs> I believe 10th of April I think a few days behind my videos, I do apologise, uh, just get busy, make the videos and then, well, I record things and I'm struggling to get time to edit and then put them up, but it's just the way it is, but I'll get there, I'll manage, so if you're wondering if I'm behind, well, I maybe am, but <laughs> I'm not as behind as you think. <laughs> uh, so, aye, that's just the way it is, I suppose. <laughs> So I'm back in this grass field and uh, I'm going to be, well, going to be plowing it of course, but I'm getting towards the edge of the fields where it's starting to do this big C shape. So what I'm needing to do is I'm actually working off the tram line of Dad spraying the field off. Uh, just to make it easier for me to turn at the ends and uh, that's how I've, I'm working at the new um, oh, that's turning over beautifully now <laughs> uh, so you can just see the dips of where his sprayer's been and I'm going to the outside line of that lifting the plow out and then driving straight up and dropping it in there just means I get a nice long swooping heat rig I believe that if the heat rig's a wee bit wider you turn faster in it and then you're back in again then you don't mind so much at the end for your long heat rigs it's just a few runs I think the time you save with turning faster is, uh, is worth leaving a wider headland on the heat rig here just for when you're turning at the end when it starts getting a bit dodgy but I could just plow that out but I just want to keep going straight up <laughs> so you can just see the the green of the where the sprayer tracks were here so around send it so I've actually just missed on camera it was snowing actually I just seen a wee speckle there again but there was a hell of a snow just there and if that cloud would clear over the other side of the hill there we might get to see if there's any snow lay on top of it again because as, as it has been as cold it wouldn't surprise me if there was snow up there
Rangers are doing a far better job now that they're new. You can see that. It's absolutely <laughs> taking it right off, throwing it straight into the bottom. Doing a fantastic job. Getting a bit wet up here. there. It's nice and dry, it slices it. When it's wet it peels the whole top surface. Then tries to choke the plough for you. Sorry I sat up out the seat. Definite kink here, so actually, I could probably take that out, Just slow down a wee bit, narrow the plow as I'm getting to it. Get to the narrowest point here and start widening it slowly as I go through it. Look in the mirror, straight again. <laughs> it's almost straight. I'll need to do that a couple more times just to get it right, but it's a lot better than it was. It was just going into the drain, it seems to have been swinging the plough. It's like as if in the heavier wet soil it's pulling the plough like that and causing a bend. I'm not sure, I'm no expert. Always learning, always learning. Right, believe I'm out of the sprayer track. I'll probably just try and plow out the bottom now. I can't be bothered driving up and doing this now. Made sense for the first few runs. It's nice to see the farm turning brown. <laughs> and not with slurry for a change. <laughs> There's the tram line there. So I could have had more done, but I was away yesterday plowing at another farm, giving them a hand, my uncle, and uh, I think I plowed just under 20 acres in the afternoon. Um, I think I've done an alright job. 
not sure. <laughs> Try to get on, give them a hand. It was too wet here. I was absolutely pushing it down the other day. It's ruined it. So there was no way I could have been in here. As you could have seen up the top there, it was very... As you've seen up the top there, it was very greasy. Um, just driving through that. Just pulling. The tires are spinning, so that was the whole field yesterday. Um, tried to go up there to clear all this stuff for the drains. Um, you know, all the old pipes that we pulled out and whatnot. And the... I could barely get up there with the tractor, so... Uh, aye, so as well helping out where I could, where it was drier, so just where we are, it's, yeah, it gets hit with the weather quite bad sometimes, I just fell over my face here. Actually, uh, before ending today's video, I'd like to show you how I finish my Hendrix, uh, plowing it into the field, well, throwing the shucks towards the outside of the field. Sorry, the first outside of the field. What am I seeing? Anyway, so I'm on my first round of the heat rig in this field here that I'm in. So, just going down round it this way. And then I'll go right round back up the top. And then I'll just keep circling round and down like that. And that's how I'll do it. Or that's how I plan on doing it. <laughs> Dad hates it when the plough has to get done this way because uh, the hole ends up in the in the furs of the the hole. The last hole of the run ends up in there for his cedar. But not much you can do about it. It's just the way it is. Um, so I I just shallow the shallow the land wheel so it's not as deep, and that keeps them happy, but not that happy. <laughs> but what can you do about it? It's just that it needs to be done. You got to fill that hole in at the wall. You can't you just keep making a hole at the wall. <laughs> yeah. Is there other ways to combat that? I don't know, I'm not an arable farmer. I suppose you could run something through it at the end to level it all before the seed drill comes straight in because Dad just likes to come in. Dad likes to come straight in with the cedar and then just go straight in with the power harrow. The kind of ground we've got, it just crumbles up and we don't need to work it that much. So we don't have any of the other equipment that other folk might have. Um, it always works well, it always seems to come out with a good crop. If it didn't come out with a good crop, there wouldn't be any point in doing it, to be fair. <laughs> so, that's turning over very, very nicely. Nice wee shine on it too. Good. So I'm on my second last run here. Uh, just going to come up here and try and take out all the points and then go along the top and plow that. But just one more run down there. I guess to a point where you're just going to end up driving another one anyway. So just, just plow that one bit out. Then I'll come up here, plow up there, plow along there. And then I'll adjust the land wheel, drive back down round it all. And uh, then that will mean that it's all, uh, well, it's all got a shallow, shut up. <laughs> I mean, it's all got a shallow uh, last, well, shallow hole at the end, hopefully. Oh, it's a bit rough there. Da -da -da -da. No. That bit there's a bit rough, it's hard to keep the plough in the ground. Um, used to dump stuff there and I'm trying to reclaim it. It's a bit stony. 
Um, it does grow a wee bit, but not an awful lot. But yeah, maybe one day it'll, it'll wrap up nicely. <laughs> so this is just when it gets all rough because of this. Need to keep the steering wheel held onto, and I need to keep dumping with this every time I go in a hole so the plow stays in the ground. hard to keep the plow on the ground when the tractor's getting launched about. It's never going to be the prettiest, but it does look good, it's not too bad, to be honest. But, coming round the corner there, turning, you know, it's not the easiest either. You'll see a wee dip there, but hopefully the power harrow will sort that out. So... Easier. Ah, see, lifted out the ground there because I was I wasn't really holding that down, just in the hole. It's hard to get back into the habit of keeping your hand on the steering wheel. Just the way the headland is. Actually, I've just thought of something that might make this all a lot smoother. After I'm done, I'm going to turn. I actually think I saw this in a comment and I now understand what it means. So after I'm done, because I see how that's all rough and lumpy and that, I'll know be the prettiest when I do it again, like, but I'll put the plow back in facing the same way it is the now, and then that'll mean that the hole will end up here, and that'll just mean that it's been plowed twice, and uh, Hopefully that will take the roughness out at all. Because that is rough. Look at it all. But that's just what you get. But seeing that bloke's comment in the comments, thank you very much. If this works, this will be bra. So I've just got couple of runs to do up here then I'll do right round and see if this will work. I'll show you what I mean if if you don't understand what I was just saying. Get in gear you hear. There's some hailstones. <laughs> See that? And actually, forgot to do this. Unfortunately, driving on top of the plowing I've already done because there's only so far into the fence you can get with a plow without getting the whole of your last run. Get this part. It's all I can do. Look at the. F How the hell are hailstones? It was snowing earlier, now we've got hailstones. Corners are never going to be that pretty, especially when you're plowing into a fence. If you've got an open area to drive out onto, aye, it would make a difference, but uh, this is what I have got to deal with. These actually see the hail stones. Ah, stop beating you.
was one. That's all right. Ploughs aren't meant to plough round corners, which makes them not the prettiest today. What actually would have made a difference here is if I moved the front far. That's a lot of hailstones and there's blue sky, what the hell? It's raining fertiliser! Right, this is just typical Scotland. You get sunshine, snow, hailstones, wind. The only thing we're missing today is the rain and I don't want that coming. <laughs> Look at all these hailstones. Look at that. Big. <laughs> I know that the first rule of ploughing is don't plough when it's snowing, <laughs> but I don't know if there's a rule about hailstones. <laughs> Sorry, but what the fuck? That's utterly ridiculous. <laughs> it's coming for the east. Right, it's getting really bad now. <laughs> right, so last run. <laughs> Sorry about all the ridiculousness because of the weather, but I'm just about to show you what I think the guy was meaning in the comments. So instead of finishing like this, I'm going to turn around the plough, keep it the same way, shallow the land wheel and that will make all this roughness that I'm going through level because it's been shoved twice or we'll see what the crack is whether that will work or not <laughs> who knows just trying something it's not the end of the world <laughs> Okay, hopefully that's the end of the hailstones. Right. Don't turn the plow, keep it facing the same way. over there are quite white now. <laughs> Seems like we only just get rid of the snow and then it comes back. Big lumps of fertilizer. <laughs> oh wish. Get out of there. Right. Oh. I really need to tighten this. Never mind. It's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Right. We'll see how that does. Lift it up. Now I'll get it. See, that's it clicked in. That's what. That's a depth stop. So once that's against there, that sets the height of the land wheel. I'll just take this with me. Cab's a bit of a mess. Don't mind my Yazoo. <laughs> Yesterday. Um, right, reset that. Right, okay, on we go. Let's see what this does. So, filling in that very large deep hole and then leaving a nice shallow one. That actually looks really good. Well, that was a very good tip. Thank you very much whoever that was. That's leaving this last run very level. That's very good. Well wait till we get down there, that's the worst part. We'll see if that's any good. I don't know if you can see the hills over there or not, but they're very white. That's beautiful. Look how crumbly it is. Beautiful soil. See, it's a very nice shallow last shuck. So that'll keep the drill man happy, whether it be me or dad. It's usually dad, but because this field's got this hillock, he'll likely make me do it. <laughs> we well, doing this, I thought there'd be more trash, but there's not. It's not too bad, actually too bad at all. Get up. Right, let's see how level this gets, because that was that was very, very un uneven. Because of the, you know you're doing points. Just see all the wee dips and whatever. Hopefully this takes it right out. Which it looks like it's doing. as well as I think it is, but it's definitely better than it was. As you can see, the difference here is, you know, it's fairly like that. Look back, it's far smoother. I'm pushing it down quite a bit to keep the front down. But uh, I suppose shoving the draft down a bit more will, would do the same job. But. That's what works for me. Right, I had one last run to do going down the way and that means that when I'm coming back up I'm not having to drive down here then drive back up all my plowing and ruin everything I've done. So, 
Aye. That was quite a good tip, I think. It uh, fairly helped level out what was rough up there, and it will help what's level out what's rough with just the ins and outs. So, aye, thank you very much for that tip, whoever it was. Um, just quite annoyed about the hailstones, but it's melting pretty quick. Uh, you know, this was just almost pure white for a minute. <laughs> so, because I've had to turn the plow to come down here, plowing it the deep way, I'll need to get out and, well, shallow the land wheel for going back up the way now. So, while I'm at it, I'll, I'll put the other one back in to where it was. Six, 16 turns in. So. Hey, right. Now, hope you all enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something, because I sure did as well today. So, this is actually quite interesting. I'll probably do this more like that again, because it's working out pretty good. So, hey, thank you very much, whoever said that. So, We'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. This is Drew's Farming Life, and I am Drew, of course. <laughs> Cheers.